Not me sweating, child. Ugh. You got it. Hey. You got it, girl. You got it. Yeah. Pretty little thing, you gotta pick it now. You wildin'. You just took it off the line, no mileage. Way they hitting you, the damn looking violent. Talking while you come around and now you're silent. Flew the Cooper 17, no guidance. Hey guys, welcome to a brand new vlog. I have eyelash issues. Like the white, the glue's white, as you guys can see. I put eyeliner on it, but I feel like it's just ravazing me at this point. Let me get some eyeshadow. Eyeshadow and fix it up. Because child, this is the ghetto. Like this is so ghetto. Like I don't even know what the if to do. Why glue it so? And not my wig shifting. Hi guys, welcome to a brand new vlog. Sorry for coming on this vlog so hostile and everywhere, but child, I can't be looking crazy. I can't be looking this crazy, child. Like rest, but wait, but wait, rest. So basically, in today's video, you guys can see by the title, I'm going to get some ink. Oh, this has been so long overdue. Finally getting some ink on my body. So yeah, this is a tattoo vlog. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm wearing. I look so cute. I don't know if I can show you guys while you guys are up here. Nope, you guys can't see. But I look so cute. And yeah. And I'm writing the test at 11. And my appointment is at, not my wig shifting, child. My appointment is at 12. So I have to write the test in the car because I have no choice. I'm not gonna miss my appointment. So yeah, let me show you guys what am I wearing? Get cute. Get cute. Get right. Let me show you guys what I'm wearing. I'm sorry, my bed is always a mess. I'm wearing this jumpsuit. I don't know where it's from. I took it from my mom's closet. And I'm wearing these leggings, kind of like pants from where are they from? Uh Pull Bear. Yeah, I think Pull Bear. This is how we looking like. <laughs> Looking like a whole baby girl. Looking like a whole snack. It, am I not just the cutest thing ever? I don't know if it's hot or it's this hair, but do I just look so cute? <laughs> so conflicted. Should I wear heels just for control or what? Oh, not me looking this cute child. After of the day, let me close the door, sweetie close that door so you guys can see the fit oh, let me look in this cute today child let me look in this motherfucking cute so what should i do should i wear heels just for control or what they look so cute they're nice and short they're not too long get up yeah and can you guys answer me now <laughs> Trips that you plan for the next whole week Been too long for 
so cheap and your flex so deep, sex so deep. You got it, girl, you got it. Hey, you got it, girl, you got it. Yeah, pretty little thing, you gotta pay it, now you wildin'. You just took it off the line, no mileage. Way they hitting you, the damn looking violent. Talking while you come around and now you're silent. Flew the Cooper 17, no guidance. You be staying low, but you know what the fight is. They ain't never got you, know it being modest. Popping shit, but only cause you know you popping. Mm, yeah, you got it, girl. Procolhos famintos não se cansam de te acariciar. What's good, you guys? So basically, today is Sunday. I got my tattoo on Thursday. So I'm just giving you guys a quick update on what happened, the pain level, and what so I felt. The pain level for me was a maximum of four out of ten, and then four, like four three, between four and three, it wasn't that painful. But my tattoo artist did tell me that a lot of people do complain about that spot. But the one you that spot is very painful. So he's very shocked that I didn't feel much pain, but I did feel a lot of pain on my second pore. Like, I'll show you guys the pore. I felt a lot of pain there, but I would say it's a maximum of four. Other places, I absolutely didn't feel anything. But yeah, that's how I, my pain level was. And they put this, I can see my visa, or something, I don't know what the hell it's called, on my tattoo after I got the tattoo. So they said I must remove it after four hours. I don't know if you guys can see me properly. Let me, let me, let me see. There we go. So you guys can see the shirt, honey. So yeah, they put this like sticker thing, plastic thing, sellotape thing on my tattoo and I had to remove it after four hours. So then I was on me for four hours and then I removed it. I'm gonna put a video here on me, of me removing it. For some odd reason, I felt like I can it was maybe something to protect that, but Shoney, guys, it was a little bit painful taking it off like taking that thing off it wasn't specifically painful on the on the tattoo but it was painful around the tattoo if that makes sense because obviously the tattoo by tattooing or something i don't know by tattooing so obviously when it got there it would, it would just glide off but on the other parts of my skin it was literally pulling me and i was like Shoney, guys and then the other thing is getting a tattoo wasn't as painful but the pain afterwards child i know i have this tattoo i got this tattoo when i was in grade 11 so i don't really remember the pain of this tattoo but i remember it wasn't as painful but the leg tattoo getting it wasn't as painful but the day after i swear to god i couldn't walk i was literally limping that's how it felt like someone literally unkabile on my leg and i couldn't walk properly so i was like limping limping and then i was like forcing myself to walk properly and then yeah that's basically what happened i applied they told me that i should apply this on my tattoo there we go take a screenshot if you're getting any ink twice a day so i apply this on my tattoo twice a day i think it's starting the peeling process now because i applied it in the morning i'll show you guys everything i applied it in the morning but i think it's starting the peeling process i'm not really sure what is exactly going on but my tattoo i'm extremely happy i love it so much to say that i'm obsessed is an understatement i love my ink so much i couldn't ask for a base tattoo but i'm also thinking of getting more ink obviously because i've been for me not getting ink i've been like thinking and contemplating and saying what if i don't get a job one day what if ink? but i feel like if me working in corporate is my purpose is my goal i don't want to work in corporate i want to be my own businesswoman but if it's my goal then god's going to make it happen if it's my purpose i'm going to work in my purpose no matter if i have a tattoo or not and i felt like on my leg it's going to be covered one day but i do want more ink on my arm here and like somewhere here on my shoulder so we'll see how that goes but definitely this year i'm getting another tattoo of course of course of course so now the pain level of my tattoo i would say it's a one I don't really have pain now at all. Like I don't feel anything. But yeah, I'm very excited for it. I love it so much. 
thing that I love most about it is when I'm wearing a heel. When I'm wearing a heel, you should see me. You should love me. You should first stand me. Because why? I am the motherfucking girl. And the girl, I keep on telling my mom when I wear a She's like, why don't you wear a mullo? I'm like, people have to see this. She, people have to see this white. So yeah, that's basically that on that. I'm gonna show you guys my tattoo now. I I'm not sure if I should show you guys or just put videos on the screen. I think I'll put videos on the screen of me while I was explaining and what 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 it looks like. And then yeah, don't you guys just love my jewelry? Oh my goodness. How gorgeous is this? How gorgeous i need to take a picture like this it's fucking stunning so yeah that's basically the end of my video i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog vlog tattoo vlog i'm not sure when the other one is going to come but it's definitely we don't, we're definitely going to have another vlog a tattoo vlog this year but i'm not sure how soon is it going to be because i want to find the perfect ink i don't i don't want to just rush into something i want to find something that i genuinely feel like i need on my body and this is what i felt like i needed my mom also has the exact same tattoo as this so for me getting this tattoo is basically me doing it not doing it for her but doing it for me but wanting to match with her and wanting to be like mother and daughter ink because my mom is like she doesn't want any tattoos anymore but i want ink and i want us to have something that is matching so that's why i got this one the same one as hers but yeah i'm quite happy i did post a reel on my tattoo on instagram so if you haven't checked it out go check it out and if you don't follow me instagram baby Unfollow, follow way follow way way so yeah my instagram handle will be on the screen everything and yeah thank you guys so much for watching i will definitely see you guys in my next upload and one thing about me one thing about me love guys bye